Hey guys, it is Josh from joshmcdonald.net. In this video, we'll be discussing Web 2.0s in respect to SEO. So, the Web 2.0 is kind of like a catchphrase uh, on the internet, but in SEO, it essentially just means any sort of free websites or free blogs that you can sign up for, like WordPress.com, uh, Blogger, Weebly, Tumblr, uh, and then there's, of course, a whole bunch here I have listed on the left side. Just go ahead and Google free uh, web 2.0s and there should be a list free web 2.0s SEO or something like that you'll find some lists and um, basically I'm just gonna give a brief introduction of, of what they are how they work and what they're used for so they're free it's the first thing unlike a private blog network they don't cost anything to set up it's a hosted uh, blog on you know some network like blogger or blogspot or something like that um, all it takes is, you know, about 500 words of content will do, you know, any sort of article, and they can be spun, you know, I sometimes I just use, a lot of times I just use spun articles, not even, I mean, they're readable, but they're spun, so they're not even uh, done by humans, uh, 500 words on each one, and then generally a do-follow link, um, but some are no-follow, WordPress, I believe, is no-follow, uh, Tumblr, you can get do-follows on Tumblr, uh, there's a video out there. Uh, I'll link it in the description that covers that um, but that's not really relevant once I get to the end um, so generally the, the first thing is what you do when you start a new website is you start with web 2.0 um, it's like I said it's free it's it's very easy to start it's not like a private blog network where you have you know takes a while to start um, costs finding domains such um, you can get web 2.0 Web 2.0s, excuse me, up right away and can immediately start your indexing strategy. Generally, they're used if you get caught my video about a month ago about tiered link building. Um, Web 2.0s are often used with that because you can send a bunch of spammy or risky or low quality links to them and it kind of acts as the buffer and then the point, all that link juice points to your money site. Um, so they're very useful in terms of that. Uh, as I said before, some of them are do follow, some of them are no follow. Preferably, you want do follow, but um, you know, a couple no follows mixed in would never hurt. They're set and forget. You know, unlike uh, private blog network sites where you would need to update content to maintain value um, of the network, Web 2.0s generally don't work like that. They're kind of cheap and disposable. So once you set them up. You don't really need to do anything else to them. Some people do. I personally don't. Um, and then some of these websites, Tumblr being one, these domains actually, they don't expire, but people can delete their Tumblrs. Some of them do expire. Um, all, of course, all the rules are different for each one. Tumblrs, for example, people people get, people get delete their accounts. like They can literally just delete it, and, and basically after deleting it, the URL comes up available to the public so if it had any links coming to that page and tumblr blogs like generally web 2.0s are like you know tumblr would be like you know something dot tumblr dot com um, but recently they set the page authority I believe in the, in the main authority they they reset it so they were meaningless domain authority and page authority are both like 98 or something silly but anyways uh, the links pointing to that's just a side note about tumblr um, the links pointing to this subdomain any of them, you know, if there was a bunch before and then someone deleted this, you could snag it and then grab all the link juice. Of course, if there's no uh, link juice pointing to this page already, you're going to just, you're gonna have to build links to this Tumblr, um, which is generally what I do. But if you want to spend more money, you can buy expired Tumblrs, for example, on Fiverr for dirt cheap generally. Um, but as I said, watch out if they're using page authority or domain authority because Moz did something with that. If you go on the Open Site Explorer and punch in a Tumblr URL, it should show you. Actually, we can do that right now in this video. Uh, oh, I see. If I can type. And we'll just do something like, see if I'm recalling this correct. No, that's not right. but. For a while, they had the, the page authority set to 98 permanently, so just be careful when you're buying. Um, back to what we're talking about. 
So some are expired. Uh, personally, me, I don't. I just grab, well, I'm going to recommend someone here. This isn't the point of the video, but people generally always ask me, who do you recommend, Josh? You're saying this is how you do it and everything, but how do you outsource it? You can't really train people how to do Web 2.0s. There's lots of providers on Fiverr and such. Um, this is the guy that I was recommended and has treated me well. Um, so I recommended him before in a previous video. And his rate is something like 50 bucks for 50 Web 2.0s. And you get spun content for each one. And uh, generally works out pretty well with like decent value. Uh, you just Google 7th Amigo and just say I sent, sent Don't even say I sent you, it doesn't really matter. Um, but that's what I do. Uh, I don't generally go for expireds, but if you want to build, say, less than 50, you want to see the same value of 50 brand new ones and five from, you know, instead of in, instead of seeing, instead of using 50 Web 2.0s, use five. You could have the same link power of five if they were expired and they already had links to them. Uh, but when you do, you know, if they're fresh, then you need to, well, you need to do tiered link building. You need to use, you know, blog comments, uh, to them or any sort of spam or GSA links, um, and scrape boxes that do follow. Um, any sort of Fiverr gig, just spread them out across 50 URLs and, and blast the heck out of them. We'll get them all indexed and then, uh, yeah, once you get them indexed, get some links to them, you'll start seeing some movement. But generally, your movement's going to be from nowhere to, you know, 50th or 100th or something like that. Um, generally, they're, just, they're not really used for a big boost. They're generally used in the start. Uh, and then, you know, it adds referring domains, right? Your referring domains account, your <clears throat> referring domains count is going to go up by like 50. Um, that's just programmer notation. Okay, enough rambling in this video. It's late. It's 1.30 right now. Um, been studying all day. Anyways, any questions, just write in the comments. I had a customer suggest this video um, and I knew I had to get it out right away just because I don't think I've covered Web 2.0 specifically. So it's a little beginner lesson, a little bit of rambling. Any questions, ask in the comments.